Hey guys, it's Gordon. I'm here with my little brother, Gabriel. And today we have this line makeup tutorial. I have not been posting on here because I had a really bad acne condition and my skin was um, falling off. So I had to take care of my skin, take care of myself, and um, it's been really busy with summer school and things of that sort. And I also wanted to do something different here on my channel. I looked at various makeup tutorials and I felt like this was kind of one that looked realistic but was simple to do for any events you guys are going to be going to. Thank you so much for watching. Comment, like, and subscribe. If you want me to do a certain video, just make sure to comment down below. And I'll make sure to do it as fast as I can. And I want to thank everyone who came to support us at GonchaCon 2018 at our booth. It was so much fun. It was really stressful in the yeah, body pain. And, and I give kids some candies. Yeah, so we gave out candies to kids who would come and get face painted. And um, it was really stressful towards the end when I did my body paint on my model. A vlog video will go up soon because of the fact that we were getting brushed real easy and the airbrush that I had purchased wasn't so good. So yeah. So you guys will be seeing new content. Thank you so much. Comment, like, and subscribe. And have a wonderful day. This video was sponsored by into the am.com. Use my coupon code effectscott to get 10 to 20% off your purchase. So make sure to go grab that before they go out. There is an 80% off section that has a ton of stuff for everyone if you want something. Bye guys! Bye! So first we are going to start off by priming the face using my favorite Rimmel primer with a little bit of highlight inside. Once I did this, I got my foundation and I used a kabuki brush to apply it all over my face and neck. This is really important because it helps to create a base on your face. Once my foundation is blended, I got my white snazzaroo face paint and I began to shade out where I would have all the facial hair as a tiger and I lightly just patted it and blended it out real good. Once I did this, I got a little bit of a red-orange face paint to apply onto the base of my face, wherever the white isn't in, and I blended it in, and then I later on put on some white on there to make the white stand out again. on paradise paint in the color light orange I then applied it on top just to give it more of an orange overtone. Now that I am done with this I'm just gonna powder all of it in using my favorite translucent powder from CoverGirl and I just brush it off. If you have been here on my YouTube channel a lot you probably know that I never do a look without doing my favorite contour highlight and blush so I first contoured using my favorite contour powder I used the same blush in that little kit and that triple thing and then at the end I just apply some highlighter on my nose on my jaw on my nose everywhere that needs to go to to highlight and look cute once I did this I just applied my favorite liner on the bottom to do the cat eye effect to have a base on your face also to make sure to have that waterline all covered up Now comes one of my favorite parts, the details. So first I start off in the nose by painting it on. I just applied some black, then another black, and then because our face is already orange, I just got a little bit of light pink from a mirror palette, and then I just blended it onto my nose, and I gave it kind of a nice peachy tone. Once I am done with this, I'm going to begin to do the whole look now. So we're going to start painting on hairs on our faces. So I'm going to start off by applying a little bit of white as a base, then a little bit of black, then a little bit of black, a little bit of white. And then at the, I'm also going to do my liner using the same black face paint. At first, I wanted to do a little thin brush. After that, I'm like, I noticed that it wasn't working. So then I got a thick brush and I just started doing it on thick and it came out amazing. I put some white on my eyebrows, I started doing those eyebrow hairs, started doing all these details and then as you see eventually I applied some white face paint onto the bridge of my nose to just kind of brighten it out and make the contour nice. I also forgot to mention in the contour process that I did contour my nose using just a flat brush and the same bronzer slash contour powder I was using. And you're just going to contour the nose going up and into the eye to make it look a little bit more snatched, a little more cute. And basically, that is it for this. Just keep on watching and pay attention.
something like this would create this amazing look perfect for raves, Halloween parties, any occasion. Thank you so much for watching. Comment, like, and subscribe. And hopefully we'll be seeing you at a future events that are secret to come. Bye-bye now.